Do you know that many, many times in marriage, there are patterns that repeat from one generation to the next, and people will tell a husband, you're just like your dad, or people will tell a wife, you're just like your mom, or people from their family in the past. How does that happen? You know, there's a powerful, compelling factor that causes people to repeat patterns from one generation to the next. Let me just give you a real simple example. Suppose there's a uh, young man growing up who has a very overweight, obese mother, and in his heart he judges her and rejects her. Do you know that judgment creates a mechanism deep on the inside that causes a person to repeat in their own life or potentially in the in the life of their marriage partner the very thing they hated and judged in a mother or a father. So because this judgment is there, this man makes a vow in his heart, I will never marry a woman who is fat or overweight like my mother. So he meets a young woman who has a beautiful figure, not at all overweight, falls in love and marries her. Now suppose this young woman that he married grew up with a hypercritical father. And uh, in her heart, she judged her dad and vowed, I'll never marry a man like my dad who just criticizes me, criticizes my mom all the time. And uh, so the young man she married was exactly not like her dad, accepting, loving, kind, not critical. Now this young woman, as they uh, begin their marriage, realizes that the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. And she's a good cook, so she cooks some wonderful food. The problem is it's a little too rich for her and she begins to pick up or gain just a couple of pounds. Now, when she gains a couple of pounds, what do you think that does to her husband? Because he has this image in his heart of his mother and without realizing it, he's seeing his wife through the lenses or the glasses of his mother. She picks up a couple pounds and in him, red flags, alarms, warning horns go off and he thinks, "Uh uh-oh, she's starting to gain weight. She could end up just like my mother. So he says to her, honey, You know, a health club opened up down the street. Wouldn't it be great to join it and we can both get some exercise? Now, how does she hear that? Because she has a judgment in her heart toward her dad, she sees her husband through the glasses or the lenses of the image in her heart of her father, and that sets off red flags, warning uh, horns, sirens, and bells for her. Uh Uh-oh, my husband's beginning to criticize me just like my dad did. Well, she doesn't say anything, she buries that, but that criticism from her husband begins to create a little stress on the inside. And so what do many women do when they're under a little bit of extra stress? Well, they begin to eat in between meals, and that's exactly what this wife does. So she gains a few more pounds. And of course, that sets off more red flags, warning bells and alarms in her husband because he's seeing his wife through the image of his mother. He's afraid that she's going to be just like uh, his mother was. He thinks the subtle approach didn't work. I've got to be a little more direct. And he says, honey, you know, your figure is really important to me. And I notice you've picked up a few pounds recently. Uh, Could we go to that health club and, and begin to work on that? Now that really wounds her because she's hearing that through the image of criticism and judgment in her heart through uh, uh, the image of her father. And so the, again, the warning flags and warning horns and lights go off, red lights in her, and uh, that hurts her and she reacts and says, okay, I know I've picked up a few pounds, but just lay off, leave me alone. I'm dealing with it, okay? And an argument breaks out. If somebody doesn't understand what is driving this uh, dynamic in that marriage, do you know it won't be but a few months and we will end up in that marriage with a very overweight, obese wife and a very critical husband and neither of them started out that way. Do you know it's amazing? There's a seed in the heart of this wife that's driving criticism in her husband and a seed in the heart of this husband that is driving overeating in his wife and neither of them know about it. You know there's a way to completely dismantle that and disarm that so that it doesn't function. If you're relating to anything like that in in your marriage, you might want to uh, have a look at some of the resources on www.familyfoundations.com. You can learn how to actually break that cycle in your own marriage so it doesn't continue.